you know what? Every woman is imagining this when she's, you know, you think like they're thinking about the wedding and the marriage and all of that, but they're thinking about the life afterwards. They see um, couples who appear happy and they're thinking couple goals. This is how I want to be with my husband. I want to have a loving, joyous, felicitous marriage with tranquility, understanding. And a lot of the guys, you listen, we play a good game. We talk a big game before marriage. Oh, yeah, I'm like this, and this is how I am, and I'm very understanding. And this and that. But as soon as you get that paper signed, as soon as you're living together, watch out. You know, all that show that you were engaged in, now your habits come out. And the problem is, it's not an issue that your habits come out. Because we all have problems. We all have shortcomings. We all have our own kind of patterns that we have, uh, patterns of behavior that are... Um, that's, you know, they're toxic to a relationship because you've been living as a bachelor, as a single person. Uh, you've been living with your family who can't get rid of you. Let's just face it. It's not like your parents are just going to uh, disown you all of a sudden because you're being rude and you're being selfish or whatever the case may be. It's like family's family. Blood is blood. They're not going to get rid of you. You're always going to be their son. Uh, you're always going to be somebody's sister. Your sister is not going to get rid of you. For the most part, I'm not talking about the extreme cases where there's some uh, ungodly abuse taking place. I'm just talking about most cases, people will put up with you because it's been your family. And so you think, this is fine. I could just be like this. And there's no problem. And so now you have another being coming in out of her own volition. Out of her own volition, she's saying yes. And she's coming into this situation. And she's not coming in as someone who grew up with you. I know in some cases, people grew up together and they fell in love and it's a nice feel-good story. But for most cases, you just met this person a couple of months ago. You guys have talked, you played your good game, you put on your best self forward, you did your show, and now she's coming, coming into your home, and now you want to behave in the same way that you've behaved before. And I'm going to have a good opinion. I think most of us guys, that's not what we intend. We're not intending to be the same way. We also have good intentions. I mean, you didn't put that, you didn't present the best part of yourself because you're trying to lie here. You genuinely, that's how you saw yourself. But the thing is, how we see ourselves, and this is something that they've shown in psychology research, how we see it, we always talk about ourselves in the way that we wish to be. But that is not necessarily the reality of it. And as you bring somebody into your home now, now you're getting married. You have an adult with you. That person, it's like the hadith of the beloved sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he said, al-mu'min mir'atul mu'min. The believer is the mirror of the believer. The challenges that you're seeing with your spouse and what she's telling you about yourself and how you're having a struggle there, she's exposing your flaws to you. Marriage is now that time for you to grow. It's a time for you to work on yourself. What your family wasn't telling you before, she's telling you now. She's showing you that now. 